I don't think I've ever been a part of a group ride where something like this has happened. And here's the thing, it can happen. So this is why I make sure I have a trauma kit just in case somebody gets hit. But take a look at this guy drifting his car inside of a motorcycle group, almost hitting a motorcycle rider at an intersection. I don't know, craziness happens. I'm just so glad nobody got hurt. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, talk about it. All right, so we're riding through. Oh, I'm, I, I did a quick look on this because as, as a... On Patreon, you get the syllabus, so I did a quick look on this, and this is just going to be for funsies. This is going to be very dangerous. It's not something I want to be a part of. I would be off to the side just like Grom Squatch because of this kind of stuff. Everyone, move off. This guy's crazy. Move off. Move off. He's doing some drifts. Look how close he's going to get to some of these riders. Uh, right there. Thankfully, he stopped. Hey, you guys do you. It's a different culture. Here's the thing. All I care about is if you get hurt or not. If you get hurt and I'm in this ride, I will take care of you. I just wouldn't be a part of the ride, though. So that's one of the big problems I'm having is that since I'm not a part of the ride and a lot of the smart riders that we have on the crew won't be a part of this ride, I really want some stunt riders to get some medical training just in case this happens. Having a trauma kit just in case somebody crashes. You can be a smart rider and still be a part of different cultures, but try your best to get that trauma training because that's that's the big killer. That's the big killer. Ha doing all this, having fun is one thing, but but crashing because of stuff like this, y there's just more risk. So I really, 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 really want the stunt culture to to get some trauma training, to get some medical training, to just in case something like this happens. I, I wouldn't be able to keep up in a mob ride. I really wouldn't. Like, you guys run through stop signs, you do all these different things. I wouldn't be able to keep up with you guys. I was thinking, you know, how can I be a part of this to help out just in case somebody crashes? And it's like, well, if somebody crashes, I, I'm not going to know where they're going. I, there's no pre-ride meeting, at least I, I, that I see. I won't be able to keep up with people running through stop signs because I'm not going to run through stop signs. And so if somebody crashes, I might be in a completely different area than you guys. So I won't be able to provide any assistance. But if this person right here had a backpack or had a side bag, or whatever it is you can do. I, I don't know too much about the stunt culture, but even just like a fanny pack, just a fanny pack with some trauma uh, stuff, like 4x4s, 5x9s, tourniquets, uh, anything, and has the training. If somebody got hit, he would be able to do something. So that, to me, is what I want. Okay, At the end of the day, I'm starting to learn a little bit more and more and more. And it's not who, I, I can't tell these people not to do this. They're going to do it either way. What I want, my, my overall purpose here, is that somebody, if they do get injured, how can they get help? And that's all I care about. So I want this person or that person or whoever to be able to have that medical and trauma training. That's all I care about. That's it. That is it. So you guys keep doing what you want to do. I already know I'm not going to do it, but I want the safety part. All right, so we're going to get up to here already. We're in a blind spot. Kind of scary. All right, we're doing good now. Good space cushion. To see. Oh, move over. Just swerve left or accelerate. Thankfully, that person heard you, Brian. Oh, I think this is going to be a... Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a, a fast action. 362 likes. Woo! Here we go. So we're going to be riding over here. We got somebody that doesn't want to go turn right. So they're going to go ahead and turn left into us. So we can accelerate through, decelerate, or move lanes, adapting to that hazard. All right, we're going to move on to this one. Couldn't move left because of that white car. But anyways, we're going through a parking lot. That person's already going. What are you doing, man? You could have. You did good, Brian. You did good. You applied the brakes, all trying to figure out what's happening. Go ahead and yell in your helmet. That's perfectly fine. Don't punch mirrors. You're doing good so far. Who is probably looking for his way, driving the wrong direction. And that's fine. That's the uncommon thing in a common situation. Switch into the next lane, move over. Let's go back just a little bit because Moto Stars was talking way too much. Be quiet, Moto Stars. Completely comprehensible. So right here we have somebody that accidentally turned in the wrong business. They Instead of getting back over here, they're like, well, it's just the next door. I'm going to stay in this lane. So as soon as you see the front of a vehicle in the same lane that you're traveling towards, just go ahead and adapt to that situation and be off into this lane. Just go ahead and be off in that lane. Maybe slow it down just a little bit, Lucas. Hopefully you're doing great. You are doing great. Just got to keep practicing. Pr Cheers from Vancouver. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. So right here, move off into this lane. Adapt to this hazard. Not a big deal at this point. 
There's enough road to where nobody really has to adapt. He's going to turn into a... Uh, I don't know how to say that. But anyways, we're moving on into a green light. We're turning left, and we ran out of space and ran out of room. There you go. Move off into a better position for safety. Did good with that. You're going to turn right anyways. Non-issue. Non-issue. So what I would have had a concern about this one is if we saw this, and we we're going to be like those typical motorcycle Karens or cops, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. What, what name should we come up with uh, for those that you know, stand in the middle of stuff and cause a problem. I don't like the, I don't like motorcycle Karens and they're definitely not cops. So what do you guys think? Write in the chat, write in the comments. Big problem is a lot of people stand right here and they're in the middle of the intersection in the middle of traffic. So that's very dangerous. So what I like about what Brian Ford did here is instead of stopping right here and saying, what's up, he's going to go around and get himself in a position for safety. And now we're going to turn right instead of just causing a scene. So he's actually doing pretty good so far. All right, green light. We're going to turn left. Stay in our lane. Very good. Is anybody going to go into our lane like this person probably? That's a typical situation that happens. That's a t yeah, Exactly. Not his first time, so recognizing that stuff. Always right Rick. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on over here. So this is what you typically see. Look, they're already crossing this. If you recognize, hey, this person's kind of being a terrible driver, just stay away from them. Give yourself this staggered look. You see how we're staggered right here? So this car is up here. This car is staggered. Now we're going to be over here. Once we kind of settle into our lanes, then you go ahead and make adjustments. Now, the problem with this is a lot of people don't settle their lanes and they start to go into ours. Now, what can we do right here? Now, we have to accelerate super fast to get out of here, but then we're going to probably get close to this vehicle. Not a good situation. So what we can do is progressively brake, allow them in, end of story. But he's going to honk the horn. That's going to actually grab their attention. That's great. I'm glad it did. Just because it did this time doesn't mean it won't. Doesn't mean it will next time. There you go. All right, so we're moving on to this one. Sun in the eyes. Watch out. We're in the blind spot right now. Close to the biker who decides to react quickly. Okay. Whoa, right on her ass. How slow are we going? It feels like we're going really slow. And we're going with the flow of traffic, so there's not much we can do. Yeah, it's a red light. Yeah, yeah. So you got to slow down anyways. Get off his ass. Now position yourself for safety so you're not going to get sandwiched. He's got a good position. This is a good position. He's off to the side. Whoa. Oh, I thought he fell. Don't do this. You need to rush to a red light? Uh, you need to rush to a red light? Bro, you need to rush to a red light? Stupid. Let's take out what's good. Okay, so he's coming up to a red light, so he has to slow down anyways. So when it comes to these red lights, what I like to do is position my, myself to the sides. Now, I like being off to the left side because that does give me the, the best view of the driver through their mirror and then also the drivers on the left side of the car, so hopefully they'll see us. Uh, so I like to be off to the left side so that I can be in a good position for safety. So one thing I see that he did good was he started to do that, so that's good. Because hopefully the vehicle, if they're not paying attention behind us, is going to smash into this or try to swerve into here and then smash this. But the main thing is making sure you have good protective gear, position for safety, plan your ride. We're going to skip this whole next part where he gets off the bike and says, hey, hey, what's up? Because I don't care about this. I don't. Part of being a smart rider is acquiring and utilizing personal protective equipment. So make sure you grab yourself a jacket just like this one from RevZill using the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. It helps me out. No extra cost to you. Plus, it lets RevZilla know that the DDF and crew is pretty badass, and they actually grab some gear. Anyways, click that link. I'll see you soon.